my doctors, Dr. Diana Twine and Dr. Magova, an army officer, they have just given me a booster dose. According to my statement in, in the New Year speech, uh, I told you that we are going to, the, the efforts we are we are going to rely on to open the the economy and the society where vaccination, full vaccination for the 18 years and above, who are 22 million. but also booster doses for the, uh, I think there are 3.3 .3 million uh, people above the age of 50. A constituency where I very rightfully fit because I'm not 50, 50 I'm now 50 plus 27. <laughs> I am 50 plus, plus, plus. So the, we said that uh, this group should get a booster dose. But also the ones below 50, but with other with problems of, uh, of diabetes, shukari, of uh, uh, blood pressure, uh, I think even the cancers, mm -hmm. uh, those ones sh should also get a booster dose. So th therefore, I really uh, appeal to everybody to do the, 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 the needful. Uh, if you belong to this group of the 50 plus, go and get a booster dose like I have done today. Uh, otherwise, all of you who are above 18 get, get the two doses. Now, Atwine, this time brought a, another clan, another clan of vaccine. You know, here in Uganda, we like clans. But clan mixing is, is always good. It's called. So I called my medical team to check corona. They took uh, samples as usual. There is what they call a rapid one. That one was negative. Then there are two which go for deep analysis. Uh, one was negative. The other one was positive. So I'm a suspect of corona as I'm standing here. <laughs> That's why you saw me coming in separate cars with mama, saying, mama, please, you use your car. The, the, but since I'm here, I will not infect you. I, I have kept my di a big distance here. So we, we, shall, we, we, shall, we, shall, we shall sort out that little issue. Thank you very much. President Museveni's declaration yesterday that he was COVID positive the first time in 39 months since Uganda registered its index case in March 2020 has sparked questions about where he picked the infection from when prevalency is lowest in the world and in the country. Mr. Museveni has always most of the part masked up since the pandemic outbreak, initially avoiding crowds and preferring vital engagements. In public, there is always a table by his side with tissue for cleaning hands and a trash can for disposing the used paper serviettes. He rarely shakes hands and government officials and private individuals meet him only after presenting COVID negative result. Although it remains unclear if foreign guests are subjected to similar protocols to safeguard him. 
Despite the precautions, the president announced yesterday that tests after he suffered mild flu-like symptoms confirmed he had the virus, admitting he had dropped masking guard due to an allergic reaction. I have therefore self-isolated at Nakasero State Road in Kampala, he tweeted, assigning Prime Minister Robin Nabanja to his scheduled tasks for yesterday and today. The highlight being presi presiding over the national celebrations to mark the Heroes Day in Luelo district. News of the infection came a couple of days after the president returned from attending a 10-day retreat of the ruling National Resistance Movement and a REM party parliamentary caucus at the National Leadership Institute, Chiang Kwanzi. Besides holding a side meeting with visiting local and foreign delegation, including guests from Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo, Mr. Museveni reportedly interacted closely with the party lawmakers. He, for instance, tweeted on June 4th that he hosts hundreds of the members of parliament subscribing to NRM at State Road in Goma for the closing session of the retreat. Caucus members said that it would be difficult to know who infected others. In the event, the president, who is the NRM national chairman, picked the virus from the retreat. There is nothing to suggest that the fully vaccinated president, including with a booster shot, is ill and suggested he went into self-isolation out of an abundance of caution. He spoke of his first preventive action was using a car different from that of his wife, Jenity, when he on Wednesday went to Korolo ceremonial grounds in Kampala to deliver the State of Nation address. President said he took the precaution after a CPR test showed conflicting outcomes, one a positive and the other negative after a rapid test turned negative result. Dr. Diana Atwini, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Health and the personal physician of the president, was the first on Wednesday to confirm that Mr. Museveni had the virus before the head of state reported about his infection in a tweet yesterday. The president, along with the Tanzania's president Samia Suluhu, on May 25th commissioned a 16 megawatt cross border hydropower plant developed by independent power producer Chikagati Power Company Limited on Liva Kagera. The following day, he was in Kalangala meeting farmers who grow oil palm trees, and a day after that, he joined members of parliament subscribing to the ruling NRM for a 10 day retreat in Chiangkwanzi. After a very useful interactive retreat in Changwanzi. I was already immersed in the activities in Kampala. However, on Tuesday, I started experiencing mild flu-like symptoms, Mr. Museveni wrote in a lengthy tweet yesterday, adding, I ignored the feeling and I had my meetings in Entebbe as well as working on my voluminous State of the Nation address. Among those he met in the interviewing period, we top government delegation from Sudan, led by Malik Agal Nganyofa, a parliamentary team for DRC's Ituli province, and Mama Maria Nyerere, the widow of former president of Tanzania, Julius Nyelele. The others included Speaker of Parliament Anita Mongo, Deputy Speaker Thomas Tayebwa, and the United States Ambassador to Uganda Natalie Brown. As everybody knows, I have been very cautious with Corona. However, recently I had to give up masks because they have been causing me allergic reaction in the eyes and also in the throat. The President said during his State of the Nation address on Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.